I come from a family of five in a small town named Tubbercary. It's in County Sligo in Ireland. I've been playing soccer for as long as I can remember. I started out with the, the local team in Tubbercary when I was about eight, eight years old. Adjusting to every part of American life is very different to Irish lifestyle. Like for example, in school at home, everything I've done has been with a pen and paper from a book and then come to college here and I remember my first class and we were doing accounting on a laptop and that really confused me. Being away from friends and family is always going to be tough. I mean, moving to America, I knew there's going to be uh, hard things like homesickness. I'd never been away from home before, so that was different, but happily when you go into a team environment, you get a family straight away from that and you get friends straight away. Coming from you know another country, it's always really interesting, uh, particularly with the squad we have here, a lot of Michigan boys, so a lot of guys have their families really close to home. You've got this third element for for Sean and Elijah where they're trying to figure out, hey, what does coach want, fit in with the team? They're also trying to figure out what is American culture like, what is this university environment like, and they're away from their families and their support system. It's certainly not one of the easiest things in, in the world. You know, it's different cultures, uh, different vernacular, different way of, of, of speaking. So, yeah, I think he's done an excellent job handling it and he's, you know, fit in really well. A junior midfielder from Sligo, Ireland. Number 20, Sean Kerrigan. Ready? I'll go first. How fast I'll go. can you get that combination? Yeah. So I'm shy, bro. <laughs> I'm shy. Oh. Yes, Chase, send me. Yes, Cromer. Montelli. Big time. Hello, boy. And I'm always like that in the drills, you just don't notice. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Sean's influence is unlike any others on this team. He's a very passionate player. Cross, back cross. Good lad. Ooh. You know, the, 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 way, the way that he kind of uh, addresses people a bit differently than you'd hear just from common American culture, and I think that a lot of the guys have gotten on board with it. Love it. Yes, Cromer! Clean sheet for the boys. People always ask me where it came from, and to be honest, I come from a family of five that's very chilled out. We always say, I don't think I'll ever meet anyone like him, you know. He's almost too outgoing. Crossbar, tuck it away. Put it with a spider sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably the best personality you can have moving to America, literally knowing zero people going into a new place. <laughs> if you're enjoying the training sessions and uh, the dressing room vibes and stuff like that, again, you're just going to fight harder for each other on the pitch. He's always there. When I think of our team, I think of Sean. He's been so good for our team culture, and which is really important for a young group specifically. The game means so much to, to me and so many people around the world. And I always say it's more than a game. It's a pastime to watch the game at the weekends. It's a, a hobby to play. Therapy, if you're having a bad day, you go up to the pitch, you feel good about yourself again. I always talk to my close friends that play and my brother that plays, and we all agree that when, when football's going well, life's going well. And when football's not going well, life doesn't seem to be going so well. Most importantly, it's the reason I got the opportunity to come to America. I think it's something that you have to do in life, like you can. For me, you can't stay in the same place if you want to play football, like it's not really, the opportunities aren't as much at home. So I think it's something that if you go there with the right mindset, you don't really think about the risks as much. Like if you think of it more so as an opportunity. Not many people at my age get the, the opportunity to come on and travel so many places and just to experience that. I think that kind of just sums up how beautiful the game really is.